What up guys, The Fighting Therapist here, and for today's video, we're gonna talk about ankle sprains. Now before we jump into the video guys, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, a like, which is the same thing as a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys do know when these videos come out, get a whole bunch of injuries and rehab strategies for them, so you might want to click it so you know when they're going to come out. My horrible drawing skills, inversion ankle sprains. Before I talk about this disgusting drawing, inversion ankle sprains. So you guys, you know when you, when you run or you walk and you kind of step off the sidewalk and your ankle does this and flops back and you're like insanely bruised and it's all swollen and everything like that. That's the exact injury that we're talking about. Go to a little bit of anatomy, what's going on. This is your nasty ankle, right? You have your calcaneus right here. You have all these little orange spots. These are your ligaments, right? So. The main ones that get injured when you do flop like this on your ankle, so you're gonna injure this big open space right here, which is called your ATF, your anterior talofibular ligament. As well, you're also gonna injure your CF, which is your calcaneal fibular ligament. And then most of the times when that injury does occur, you also strain your peroneal muscles. And it's a very common injury. This is why strengthening your ankle, even when you're not hurt, is a very big priority, especially for fighters. We're on our feet all the time, we're moving, we're hopping, we're on these mats that are so shitty and the surface is so bad that sometimes your foot does slip. And if you're not flexible in your ankle, if you're not strong enough in your ankle, if you don't have enough of that stability in your ankle, you're gonna be more prone to injury as well. It's actually gonna take you a lot longer to get back into your fighting game, into going back into your sport after you've injured yourself. So the exercises that we're gonna to cover today are some very easy exercises you guys can implement into a warm up, into a rehab plan if you actually are injured, as well as in your protocol. This should be in your guys' protocol, just like in the other video, all these videos, these, some of these exercises should be implemented on a day-to-day -day basis, and you should actually work to getting it stronger, 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 whether you're changing the elastic band for tension, whether you're doing more reps, whether you're adding more time under tension, whether you're doing more eccentric, no matter what it is, this is what you guys wanna do. The first exercise is gonna be banded eversion, okay? To strengthen those peroneal muscles that we did just strain. As well, strengthen those ligaments that are attaching onto the bone to also help bring more blood flow to the area so that we can actually get some exchange of oxygen and more nutrients to the area where the injury is especially that ligaments don't have that much blood flow so if we can bring them to the muscles that are surrounding them then we can kind of get some exchange that's going on so after the banded eversion we're also going to do some dorsiflexion helping our peroneals but as well as our tip ant get stronger is going to be the next thing Pretty much all the musculature that's gonna be around your ankle that you've possibly stretched, we're gonna to wanna to re-strengthen them. Next you wanna do, you're gonna stand up, we're gonna to go to a body weight calf raise. Now you can do this with one hand holding, and then you could also make it a little harder and do single leg later on when the two leg becomes a little bit too easy for you. Next exercise after that is gonna be a single leg balance. We just ruined proprioception. We ruined the mind-muscle connection to the muscle by tearing it. So now what we wanna do is reestablish that. So single leg balance, making sure that we have a nice tripod position. Heel, base of first and base of fifth, as well as maintaining our arch. We're holding that position. When that becomes easier, we're gonna add movements in the opposite leg. You can draw a star, draw the alphabet with the other leg and this is gonna cause the stability. Go up in your glutes, get even more stability. Ankle, we wanna train those intrinsic muscles that we can't really train specifically. This is gonna be a great one. Once you finish with that, you're gonna do a lateral step up. So being able to do a step up, not just in the sagittal plane, but also in the frontal plane, is gonna put more of an emphasis on that lateral ankle that we just injured to regain the strength back into that area. And then right after we finish it, we wanna adapt it even more. So we went from step ups, now we're gonna do sagittal jumping. So you're gonna jump on two feet, land on one. Again, working on that single leg positioning that we did in the hold. So when you land, I don't wanna see your ankle falling down, right? I don't wanna see that arch break. And when you land nice and strong, knee doesn't cave in, strong core, brace with the glutes, that's what we want. And then we're gonna challenge your lateral ankle even more by doing lateral balance side to side. That's gonna put the greatest emphasis on the lateral side and that is pretty much the last stage if you were to follow these exercises in order 
for regaining as much strength, proprioception, and stability back in your ankle as possible. With that said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And please don't judge my disgusting drawing. I try my best, I'm not the great at drawing, better at giving info. So, you know, try something new. So I hope you guys liked it. I'll catch you in the next video. It's your boy, that's Zach. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee.